Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. What's up, guys? How you doing? Ooh, all right. So, don't mind me. I'm a little hyped today. I literally woke up a couple minutes ago. So, today I'm going to make a video on hypothetical uh, common issues that you will have when you're dealing with people, dealing with clients, and dealing with users. What do I mean by that? So I'm going to go over, like, I've seen a bunch of videos of people making videos of people getting locked out of their account and stuff like that. So today I want to go over something like that. I want to go over, like, something real simple and easy, uh, stuff that you will deal with when you work level one support, stuff that you deal with as hypothetical examples. So I'm going to give you an example because this has happened to me. I'm going to give you a bunch of examples, and I'm going to show you how I respond to all of them. Um, okay, bef before I get into that, if, you, if you're new to my channel, I do IT support videos, I do CompTIA videos. I talk about how to get into desktop support, how to get a job in IT. I do IT interviews as well, and just uh, just talk a little bit about IT. All right, guys, I hope you guys rate, comment, subscribe, follow me, hit the notification button, hit the bell button when you know, you know, you know when, when I'm live, basically. So, all right, let's get right into this. So, I have my Active Directory open. I'm just going to show you real quick. All right, Active Directory is open. I'm going to I'm going to teach you cuz everyone has their own way of teaching. So I'm going to teach you common tips and tricks that you should be doing when you're taking a phone call with someone's having an issue with their account being locked out or they need a password reset. All right? So this is how it's going to go. Scenario number 1. Uh we're going to use the same guy for everything. Scenario number 1. Say for example his name is Tom Wells. He's on Active Directory, right? And he calls you from the office saying, oh, my account got locked out. I need you to unlock my account. And then you go, you're like, oh, okay. So he's calling from the office. It's perfectly fine. So you're going to go on Active Directory. You're going to look for his name. You can search his name. You see his name is right there already. You could type Tom Wells. Um, and you double click on him. And then you unlock his account, right? That's scenario number one. So scenario number one, okay, we got it. He's done. His account is locked out. Scenario number two uh, will go something like this. Hi, um, hi, uh, is this IT? Yeah, uh, my account is locked out. I don't know why I keep getting locked out. I'm getting locked out of my account. And also, when I open Outlook, it keeps prompting me for my password. I don't know why it keeps prompting me for my password. I think I think I forgot to change my password. And then you respond back to him. You're like, oh, um, did you get a notification saying that your password was going to expire or anything like that? Uh, and then he's going to say, oh. Uh, uh, yes, I did, but I forgot to change the password, and for some reason now it's not letting me in on the computer. Can you please change my password and reset it for me? Uh, sure, I'll do it right now for you. So it'll go something like that, and then you go back into Active Directory, and you go into his account, search his name again, uh, and you do reset password, and then you just, you know, make it whatever you want. Like, I'll, usually I would make it something easy, so I would make it like capital W, so like welcome, one, two, three... Welcome one two three, um, and then I haven't changed our next login. So then when he puts that password in, it'll prompt him to change it, and then you go back on the phone with him. Yeah, hi, hi Tom. Yeah, can you please change your? Can you please try to log in with Welcome one two three capital W? Let me know if that works. Does it work for you? It does. All right. It'll prompt you to change your password. Can you change your password? It does. Okay. First thing I need you to do for me, do me a favor. Make sure you save all your drafts on Outlook, and I need you to close them down, and I need you to close Outlook, and just let it let it sit there for a while, and then reopen Outlook again. Um, all right, do that for me. And he opens out, he closes Outlook, he opens it again. Is that is that password prompt gone? It is. All right, good. Yeah, it's just it just took a little bit of time for the password to sync with your account, but you should be good to go. If you need any help with anything else, feel free to reach out and help us. We are here to help. Okay. I hope you have a great day. So that's another scenario where basically the password it needs to be reset. And you're having an issue with someone because your password needs to be reset. Another scenario, which is a different one, which is very different. So just this is this is totally different. This is something that will, uh, that, that that will blow your mind basically because this happens all the time. So someone is on, someone's on the on the on the company laptop, and you're con say for example on the company laptop, and they can't connect to VPN because the password has expired. So they give you a call. So they they call you right. Like your phone is ringing, they're calling you, um, and you're and they call you. They're in the office, they call you, but they're not in the office. They're out of the office, so they call you, and your phone is ringing. Your phone is ringing for some reason. So your phone is ringing, and then they call you, and then 
Okay, like, one more, beep, 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 beep. Thank you for calling IT support. Kevin speaking. How can I help you? Hi, good, good morning. And you hear a Tom. Tom's going to be like, hi, hi, how you doing? Good morning. I'm sorry to bother you. Um, Or or, or something like, hey, hey, uh, I, is this IT? Yeah, IT. I need your help with something. I, I, I'm trying to send this email and I can't connect to VPN right now. Can you please unlock my account? Um, can you please change? Can you can you just check my account for me and see if my account is okay? And then you get back to him. All right, give me a second. Let me check for you. But before I check for you, can I make sure that I'm actually speaking with the right person? Can I make sure that I'm speaking with Tom? So then you go into Active Directory, you check Tom, right? Then you go into Organization and just confirm that it's him. So Tom, what do you do? You're a manager, right? What department do you work? You work in sales. You work for Keptech? Okay, good. Who's your manager? And your ma his manager would be right there. And then you just want to confirm that it's him. So you want to confirm that it's him. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to. You know, want to make sure that it's the actual person that you're talking to. You don't want to change your password and then you know through social engineering they get into the system. That's just a hypothetical example. So you want to always make sure that if they're calling out of the office, you want to confirm that it's them. You want to confirm that the cell phone is the same phone that they're using to log in with with dual or authentication. You don't want to just assume that it's them. You don't want to change the password. If that makes sense. If you know, they don't know if it's them. You have to confirm that it's them first before you change the password. So this is like part of policy and procedures. I don't know if anyone has ever shown you this or talked about this. But you, one thing you want to do if someone's working out of the office, you want to make sure that it's them and it's not someone else. Okay. So then this is this is this is that's scenario number three. So then you go ahead and obviously you go ahead and you change the 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 password. So you just reset password and you change it. Now scenario number four. Because there's a bunch of scenarios I'm doing today. Scenario number four, they call you, they need to change their password. You don't know when their password was last reset, so you want to check for them when their password was last reset. So this is what you would do. Um, and they, they call you. They call you the same thing. Same problem. So let's go VPN. Thank you for calling IT. Kevin speaking. How can I help you? If he, and he talks to you. Hey, um, um, hi, is this IT? I can't connect to VPN for some reason. Yes, sure. Uh, sure. Can you confirm who you are? And he tells me information. He tells me who he is, what department he works. Uh, yeah, so my, my VPN is not working. What's the, all right, let me get back to you. So when was the last time you changed your password? I don't know when I changed, I don't, I don't know when I changed my password. When, um, I don't know what you, can you check for me? Can you see it? And then, you know, I'm going to give you tips and tricks to check for all that. So the, the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the account. Just look at his account. Uh, under here, it will tell you when his password uh, expires. It'll, it'll be like end of, but this is set to never. So... You're working in a in a in an IT support environment, and you want to find out what what happened to his password, what happened to his account, right? The best way to do that is doing this. I'm gonna teach you. So teaching is always good. So let's see. So you know his name is T Wells. So what you do is you go into CMD. Uh, you type net user, net user, and then you type T Wells, and then uh, space slash domain. You press enter. So here you could see when was the last time the password was reset. It was reset three first, when it expires, and when it was changed. So obviously I changed it just now. So, you know, it's the same guy. But if it was a different person, this is hypothetical, you know, hypothetical, if there's a different person, then you would go here. Um, you see the password was expired like an hour ago or two hours ago. It will tell you here. And it will tell you when the password, um, was the password last set and when it could be changed again. So hopefully that makes sense. So you would do that in your environment. You just type net space user space the username space slash domain um, just for you guys to know. All right. So it's right there. So net user T Wells slash domain. That's one thing you could use. That's a that's a free tool you could use is a command line. The command line is always there to help you. So if you're stuck with somebody, you're stuck for some reason. You don't know. You don't know what you don't know when was the password last changed. You don't know when the password was changed. You don't know. Why they can't change their password is because probably their password can't change because you have to wait another two hours, another three hours, another two hours, another five hours for you to change their password. Um, if uh, that's why not change their password, like they can't change their password because they have to wait a certain time for their password to be able to change for it to you know for them to actually change it. So sometimes you have to change it on you have to change it on your on your own for them because they can't change it because at a certain number of times you change the password because of your policy or your or group policy whatever security you have set up. They might only be allowed to change their password two times. They might be only allowed allowed to be change their password one time or three times, depending on what company you work. So I wanted to show you that. Uh, same thing with that. 
Same thing with that command line is very useful because you could do T wells, right? Same thing, domain. Um, you're working with a user, you're working with someone. For example, here it will tell you what groups they're in. So if you want to figure out um, if he's in a distribution group or not, you could check there or you could go into his account, double click on it and check member of. So those are the two ways to check. Also, you could check to see what part, what uh, what share drives he have access to and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff you could do on the command line. But I'll go over that in a later video on certain things that you could check, which is kind of cool. Um, and that's it. And that's that's another way to do um, deal with people that are getting locked out of their account, people that need password reset and stuff like that. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna go and show you one more thing. So you can also download um this cool this cool tool called Account Lockout Management Tools. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. It's absolutely free on Active Directory. So then when you download it, you can put it on your desktop. Here you put select target. So you want to select the target that, that basically has the issue or basically needs, you want to check to see if their account is locked out or something. Maybe their account is locked out and you want to figure out what is locking them out and stuff like that. So you go here, do T wells, and then you hit, you know, okay. And, and then the data will be collected. And then when the data is collected, it'll tell you right here, it'll tell you what site they're being locked out of, which domain, other, which domain controller is locking them out. It'll tell you the user state, which is not locked out. How many times the password was incorrect? Zero times. Last bad password? None. Um, password last pa bad password last set right there. Lockout time and uh, or origin of lockout. So yeah, so that's another free tool you could download. It's absolutely free. I'll leave it below in the, in the description. You could download it if you like. It's entirely up to you. And you can use the command line as well. So that's how I would troubleshoot any account lockout scenarios. I want to make sure that I know who they are. I want to make sure that they're a human being. I want to make sure that they're a regular person. I want to make sure what department they work. I want to make sure who they report for or who they report to. I want to confirm that it's actually them, not just some random stranger giving me a call when they need help with IT. And I also want to confirm um, their username, their first name, their last name, their phone number, confirm stuff about them before I change the passwords. I don't know if they're, I'm not sure, I'm not, I don't know if this is the right, this is, this is, this is Tom Wells. I don't know if it's him. It could be someone else calling on behalf of him, or it could be someone calling pretending to be him, and basically they're trying to get into the system. So you want to make sure that it's actually him, and I hope that helps you out. It's just scenario-based stuff that might happen. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, like I said, I always confirm that it's them, and then use the tips and tricks that I just showed you. Go into the domain, go into the command line, and it tells you when the password was last reset and stuff like that. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more scenario type issues, let me know, and I'll make more videos like this, which which I definitely can. This is for people that do level one support that don't know how to get into IT, or people that are trying to answer a phone call, or people are trying to basically, you know, get into their first IT job, desktop support. Definitely let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. All right, take care, peace.